Welcome to the Danish Public School. The Ministry of Education is, with this film, welcoming you to the Danish Public School system. The film will show what the purpose of the school is and how the lessons have been structured in order to meet this purpose. The film also shows how the school, in cooperation with the parents, ensures adequate tuition for each pupil. School systems all over the world are buried. Nadia's dad is from Somalia. You may be curious about certain things if you haven't attended school in Denmark yourself. Det for første gang, som man afleverer sine børn i en dansk folkeskole, og så møder man det her lærer i går, så der der kom en masse spørgsmål og hvad hedder det og When your child starts at a Danish public school, you meet all these teachers who ask a lot of questions. Also at the school home meetings, they talk about many different subjects. Then you can easily become overwhelmed. What are they up to? What are they after? You can become quite frightened. There are 356 pupils in Herningvej School in Aalborg. They stem from 23 different countries. René Arnold Knudsen is the school's rector. It's the school's task to cooperate with the parents, giving the pupils the knowledge and the skills that enable them to complete an education as young people and as grown-ups and be citizens in a democratic society, with all the obligation and responsibility this entails. Good morning, you two. Have you got new clothes, my darling? It's inherent within the primary school's statement of intent that the school must cooperate with the parents. The school has to prepare the pupils for further education and render them eager to learn more. The goal is also that they acquire competences necessary in a knowledge-oriented society. Please be seated. We're now assembled. In a moment, we'll go in and do an exercise. What letter did we learn about yesterday? Then we return after recess. Then we'll have the workshop. The pupils, of course, have to learn to read and calculate, but they also have to learn many other things. There's a subject folder, common objectives, for each subject that contains one of the goals for any subject in the syllabus. All education is planned according to these subject folders. They indicate that one of the common goals in the first year is to create a link between the home and the school. What are the words we discussed in your mother tongues? Maya? What's drawing called in Arabic? It's also written in that play should be a central element in the education, with weight on learning through play. Det er vigtigt at børnene, de kommer til tiden, når klokken den ringer ind, for det vi starter med. It's important that the pupils arrive on time as we begin by discussing the program for the day. It gives the children a sense of security in knowing what they're going to do. It's also written in the statement of intent that the school must develop the pupils' versatility so they become independent, curious and capable of acting by themselves. It's a fundamental part of the education. Right now, it's subject week at Herningweit School. This allows time to work in a more in-depth manner with a subject. 
The second year pupils work with drama. It can boost self-confidence to be more daring. The pupils have learned many different things already throughout the week. I've learned a lot when we practice, to say something or to be quiet, and we've learned to sit properly and listen and sing the song we have to sing. There are 465 pupils at Amar Fele School from 25 different countries. Could you imagine eating food in McDonald's for a whole month? Here the fifth year girls are in the middle of watching a film through which they discuss the subject of health. In the subject folder for sport, it states that the purpose of sport is that the pupils get an insight into and experience regarding health. Sanam is a pupil here in the fifth year. She's happy to be at the school and happy about the support she receives at home. Hello. Hello. There's a need for the parents' backup to ensure that the pupils receive the necessary competencies. All parents play a huge role in regard to their child's schooling. Sanam's parents ask her every day how school was, and they talk to Sanam about the things she didn't understand. I've got maths homework. I think it's important that they take higher education. The future is not the same as today. You have to know more. If they're not good at school, they'll have issues in the future. My parents are interested in what I do at school. They're happy to help if it's something they understand. Both my parents want to help, and that means a lot to me. It makes me happy. They think about how I do at school and how I can become better. In accordance with the statement of purpose, the pupil should have the opportunity to immerse themselves, gain experience and develop a desire for activity, so they can increase cognition and imagination, gaining confidence in their own potential, as well as a platform for taking a stand, and reacting accordingly. The pupils are learning about hieroglyphs. Different work methods are employed. A lesson often begins with a review of new material. Page 58 is homework for the next lesson. Then the pupils work on solving problems. Six times two is twelve. Then you add. You've now read the books. How do you feel about them being set where you live? It's good as you feel you've been there before. It's seen as important that the pupils are active and self-governing in the lessons. This class is in the middle of project work that is based on a novel. Why do we have to read books? Because we have to learn about society and our lives. The students have to consider their own opinions and discuss them in class. They learn to be curious and speculate. Can this actually happen in reality? 
It can indeed. Good question. Now you shall form groups and work together. Many students in fifth grade are good at reading aloud, but this is not enough. They also have to understand what is written. That's why there is focus on reading comprehension in the lessons, to talk about the book, so the new words and expressions are being used. They then remember better. Hussein is in doubt about what the word climate means. Katrina, yeah. do you know what climate means? I do indeed. But you have a suggestion. The pupils have to ask when there are words they do not understand. The development of vocabulary in all subjects is an important part of the schooling. A large and varied vocabulary improves the comprehension of reading. We would like to tell you about the author. Give it up for Hussein. When the pupils present what they've worked on in the lessons, actively using the language, they gain more self-confidence and belief in their potential. Well done! We got lots of good information about the two authors. Wasn't it great? And they could do it by heart, and that's difficult. It's about understanding the text. It's easier to remember then. What did you get out of it? Cecilia? Cecilia? It was good, as there were many details. There are many different subjects in the school curriculum, because the pupils have to develop their competences in a variety of fields. Here, the eighth year is taking sport. This is mandatory. Everyone has to take part. We have to start a new chapter in religion. We have to begin a new chapter in religion about love. The ninth grade has, in religion education, arrived at a chapter in the workbook about love. When one falls in love, it's often with something unknown. One becomes attracted to the other. You become attracted to your opposite. Scientists tell us that you are in love for three months. Then it turns into love. What's the difference? There are sometimes excursions for the pupils where they leave the school and learn about the world in a new way. Today, eighth grade from Herningvai School is at the art museum to hear a speech about the painter Emil Nolde. The custodian at the museum knows a lot about the painter. Excursions are a part of the education, and the pupils know they must continue working on knowledge gained here back at the school. It's also the same on school camps, and that's why it's important that all pupils attend. In Denmark, the pupils are tested throughout their school years, but no marks are received until eighth year, and there's only a proper test after ninth year. The pupils here are in the middle of a spelling test. The test has two parts. In the first part, the teacher dictates 50 words, which the pupils have to write down. The second part contains exercises where the pupils have to read themselves and solve problems such as adding commas in the sentence. As a Min mor hjælper mig med utrolig mange ting. Altså for eksempel min skolegang, det er nok der, hvor hun hjælper mig mest. 
My mother helps me with quite a lot of things. For example, I'm very tired in the mornings and can't get up. She wakes me and tells me to go to school. She helps me to do well at school. What she does is actually really good for me. I'm extremely happy that she's done it for so long. Evaluation is part of the education. The teachers speak with the students throughout their school years about what the pupils get out of their lessons. This pupil study plan contains information on your progress between August and now. It also contains a projection regarding your future studies. We'll read it together and then we can formulate more goals on which you can focus. I've looked at your essay and your reading test. You've got a really good lingual knowledge. The purpose of the student plan is to improve the individual pupil's educational gain and to strengthen the school home cooperation. You can at some schools receive help with homework and in certain places you can receive assistance at the community library. If parents cannot help with the homework, it's important that the children receive help elsewhere. Everyone can take full advantage of this and it can be more comfortable to do homework together. Yes. Birgitte Benson is a teacher with a special education in Danish as a second language. She helps the bilingual pupils at Amar Fellel School both in class and at the homework cafe. Our goal is that the dual language students can obtain the same overall marks at the final exams as ethnic Danish students. I think it's important that the child can feel that it's fun to learn something, that it's lovely just to learn something, and that they become more clever and feel like going home to talk about it. Then it's good if mum and dad express their wish for the child to have a good education. Sanam learns at the school and she learns at home. In Sanam's home, they often speak of how the world is comprised. It can be about politics or about religion. For example, I ask if it's true that one of our prophets did this or that. If I ask, my mum will explain. If parents and teachers work together, one can always hope that the child has a good future. There are school home visits for all the pupils. Cooperation between the school and the home is important to ensure that the pupils get the most from their education. The parents get a chance to have an insight and understanding into their child's school life. We create pupil study plans. General studies, oral and written, are all satisfactory. It's going well. Of course you have to work for it, but it's going well up until now. And cooperation with others is also going well. The satisfaction lies in the writing and oral in comparison to last year. You're always doing your homework. That's great. You have your dad to help you. That's really good and it works well. It's important to participate both at the school home meetings and also when the school issues an invite to a dialogue. In the public school's statement of purpose, it's written that the school's work should be characterized by intellectual freedom, equivalence and democracy. There's a school board meeting here at Amar Fehlu School. 
There's a school board in all schools where parents and colleagues can discuss and decide how everyday life should mould itself around the children when they're at school. There's always a majority of parents in these meetings. For us, it means dialogue med forældrene rigtig, rigtig meget. Vi vil gerne et dagligt dialog, et så tæt dialog med The dialogue with the parents means a lot to us. We'd like a daily dialogue, as close a dialogue with the parents as possible, both in daily life when we write and speak to the parents and when we call for different meetings or parties, but also in the school board, where there is a formal dialogue forum where we make decisions about the conditions at the school. De steder, hvor eleverne kunne have en svøb på. There's also a representative from the student council in the school board. Forældrene kan bruge skolebestyrelsen til at få sat vigtige punkter, spørgsmål, hvad det nu kan være. The parents can use the school board to get important points on the agenda and to discuss matters at the meetings with the school's rector and teachers. In this way, they're able to use their influence to make the school even better. Jamen, i starten er man skeptisk over for, altså det ting, som i skulden gør for for ens børn ikke også. In the beginning, one is skeptical about the things the school does to one's children. That was my experience, but luckily, it wasn't long before I knew that what the school did for my children was the right thing. Det er vigtigt, altså at det der skulle gås for mine børn. It is, in my opinion, natural to be a little skeptical towards what the school might do. But now I have complete confidence in the school. What the class teachers do for my children is the right thing for my children. De klasselærerne går for mine børn. Det er bare det rigtige for mine børn. Det er ikke tvivl om. Jeg synes, du var god til det hele, ikke også? I think you were good at both dancing and singing.